Hi, and welcome to the second of my four Bruce Lee talks. Uh, if you remember from our first talk, uh, we had the formula of the Iced Dragon. The Iced Dragon standing for intelligence, confidence, excellence and discipline. We went through in talk one the intelligence factors that Bruce Lee applied in his life. And today the focus is going to be on confidence. Confidence. Bruce Lee was extraordinarily confident. And I'd like to say right at the beginning of this talk that confidence must go with competence. That's very important. Uh, there are various trainings out there in the world these days that focus on getting people very motivated, getting them really pumped up, getting them to really believe that they can do anything they set their mind to, but they can't. So it is possible to be very confident and to be very, very poor in competence. That's not what we want. That's not what Bruce Lee was about. First thing I'd like to point out here is that confidence is not a thing. And one of the problems we have with language uh, is how often it turns processes, active processes, into things. So people tend to think about confidence as being something that they have or they haven't. They think about confidence as almost like a, some kind of mysterious force that some people are lucky enough to have in life and others don't. Whereas the reality of confidence is it's a process that we do. It's something that we actually create in ourselves. It's something that we, we do, we create as we go through life. So that's the first thing. It is a process. And because it's a process that we're all doing, it is on a scale. It's not an either or. Okay, this is really important. Once again, language, we, we tend to make things either or. Either someone is confident or they're not. They're happy or they're not. They're depressed or they're not. Whereas the reality is everyone has confidence to a degree. Okay? And you think about it, you must have some confidence even that you can get out of bed in the morning and put your socks on or put your clothes on. Okay? So everyone has some level of confidence. Okay? The question is then how much? Okay? That's the key question. Uh, whether you have enough confidence for life as you want it to be. Now, the next bit here is about confidence being mathematical. In terms of, to develop confidence, do you add or do you subtract? So what do I mean by that? Okay, well, most confidence classes, most schools of teaching confidence, focus on the adding model. They want people to increase their self-esteem. They want, they want them to have more self-belief. That kind of an approach. Now, I'm not saying that isn't good. However, I'm going to suggest that Bruce had a different style of confidence. It was a style of confidence based on subtraction. So, what I'm saying there is that Bruce Lee's confidence came from dropping away self-image, dropping away ego. And by letting go of those psychological factors, he was able to move through the world with extreme confidence. Because what he was focused on was what was going on in the now and what he was doing in the now and how he could do that to the best of his ability. Okay, so that's a very different type of confidence when you take away the ego, you take away the self-image, and whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, you're focused on how you're doing it, how well you're doing it, rather than what you're projecting. Because for a lot of people, it's about how they're coming across to others. And it's often said about Bruce that he could be arrogant. Um, and, and this, I think, came about because he was good at what he did. If you showed him a technique, he might say, that's, that's rubbish. Let me show you something better. And he would. But he wasn't doing that from an ego position. That wasn't coming from ego. 
look at me, that was coming from his own internal sense of actualizing the best in him and bringing that best in him out. So both is what we're looking at for confidence. But I would suggest that the subtraction model actually gives you more power. But to a degree, it's a question of both. It's a question of adding and it's a question of taking away. And this is the key to Bruce Lee's confidence, as I alluded to earlier. The difference between self-actualization, which is a term that comes from a psychology of someone called Abraham Maslow, and self-image actualization. So Bruce said that this is what most people are doing all the time. They're actualizing their image of themselves. They're projecting an image of who they want to be, of how they want people to think about them all the time. They're projecting. Whereas this is where Bruce's confidence came from. Always, always working on actualizing yourself. Being the best person you can be in a situation. And that means being objective about the situation and understanding what is needed here, what is required here. And how do I behave in a way that will fulfill those requirements of the situation, okay? And then you've also got, with confidence, you've got what I call a life confidence, as opposed to an applied confidence. And life confidence is just a general confidence that maybe you want to go and do something you've never done before. Maybe you want to go and learn uh, to play the guitar or you want to learn a new language. It's having just a general level of confidence that you can do it. Okay, it's just having a, that nice level of life confidence. And applied confidence comes back to making sure, as in Bruce's case, for instance, with martial arts, that you can back up what you say. So it's having that skill level. Skills are very important. Okay, with confidence, as you build it in a discipline, in an area, to make sure you've got the, the, the uh, skills to go with your confidence. So to round off, I'm going to run through here some techniques, okay, that all are geared towards controlling your state, which is your overall confidence level at any moment in time. First is body chemistry. You need to have your body chemistry functioning well. You need to have energy, you need to have good levels of neurotransmitters. Posture, very significant. How you hold yourself, how you carry yourself. Internal dialogue, the things you say to yourself as well. You know, what kind of conversation you have in your head. Having a positive one, obviously, as Bruce did. And imagery, creating good visual images of the future you'd like to have. It's all going to give you this state control. Okay? Confidence. Hope you enjoyed the talk and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.